Stay tuned to learn how to do these feet and braids into a ponytail. Start with clean and freshly blow dried hair. I added my homemade Invoke Me hair butter so that she can have moisturized hair. Look at the shine. Here I am doing like a pre-braid. Let's just call it a blueprint for the braids. I think it's a lot easier and it saves you a lot of time. So we're going to start off with the little braid and then next we're going to do the feed in braid. As you can see I'm adding the hair in between my index finger and my thumb. Don't worry I'm going to slow it down for you all but just check out this technique first. Now let's get a little bit more detailed. Pay close attention to where I'm adding the hair in between the index finger and the thumb and I just continue to do this all the way down. I like to add smaller pieces for those with thick hair like hers and you add larger pieces for those who don't have super thick hair. And at the end of the braid, I add my longest piece, just so we can have that length for the ponytail. Here's another angle for you all. You see where you wrap the hair around and grip it with the index finger and your thumb. You just continue to do this on the entire head and you alternate with the smaller braids. You can get creative and add as many small braids as you want. For a neater look, I personally prefer to add gel while you're finishing the braid just to ensure that you don't have all of those fly away, stray away hairs. At the moment, I didn't have any gel, so she just added some when she got home. You can also cut those little hairs off as well, just as long as it's not your client's hair. You can also wear this style in a bun. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Invogue Me Hair. Bye.